Number 58. A sample of ammonium chloride was heated in a closed container, and then they give us this balanced equation. NH4Cl solid comes to equilibrium with NH3 gas plus HCl gas. Then they say, at equilibrium, the pressure of NH3 gas was found to be 1.75 atm. What is the value of the equilibrium constant Kp for the decomposition at this temperature? Okie dokie. So, at the end of the day, the question is asking for an actual number, a value, for the equilibrium constant Kp. Now, Kp, remember, it's a generalized formula. It's this guy right here, which I'm just going to put at the bottom. Remember, it's just the pressures of the products divided by the pressures of the reactants, and they're both raised to their coefficients. Remember, the coefficients are the big numbers in the front. So, let's just rewrite this formula a little bit bigger so that we can work with it. We got NH4, uh, Cl, solid, and this comes to equilibrium with NH3 gas plus HCl gas. Okay, let me just make this a little bit more centered. And now we're ready to rock and roll. So, all they basically told us was that we started with a sample of ammonium chloride. And this is ammonium chloride, right? So we started with this. And then they jump down and they say, at equilibrium, the pressure of NH3 was found to be 1.75. So it seems like we know information for this one, but we don't really have any other information for these. There's a couple of ways to work through this problem. I'm just going to try to give you the most uh, concise uh, information to answer this problem, okay, guys? So with this... You can use your ice tables. That would kind of give you the overall, you know, understanding of what's going on. So let's do an ice table real quick. Now, some of you might know it as a rice table, but I personally, when I was learning it, I just use ice. And what I do is I put I, C, E. You could put rice. R stands for the reaction, but I don't like to use rice. I just like to use ice. Okay. So now... I stands for initial. So the initial amounts that you had at the beginning. Now, first thing is even before we even go through this, check your states. Remember, your equilibrium numbers, the E stands for equilibrium, your equilibrium values that are going to go into your KP equation, only aqueous and gas states are allowed. Now notice here, guys, I have a solid, but then I have two gases. Is the solid allowed in this formula? Absolutely not. So do we even care about this guy? No, we don't. Get rid of the whole column. <laughs> Beautiful, right? So we just made our lives much easier by not even worrying about this guy. Now we just need to find out what the ICE is for the NH3 and the HCl. Now, initial means what you started with. Now, we just got to read in between the lines. They said that we had a sample of ammonium chloride. Remember, this is the ammonium chloride. That was what we had initially. We only had ammonium chloride. They didn't say a sample of ammonium chloride, ammonia, and hydrochloric acid, right? So did we have any starting with NH3 and HCl? No, we didn't. They did not state it, right? So I have zero for this, and I had zero for this. Now they said, okay, at equilibrium, we had an NH3 pressure of 1.75, and the E stands for equilibrium. So I know at equilibrium, at this line right here, and maybe I'll draw this as like a little sl slot, right? At equilibrium, I know that I had 1.75 atm. Now, when I do my ice table, I don't like to write units because it gets very confusing. So I just know that only pressure unit that's allowed in here is atm. So if they did give it to me like 1.75 torr, 
I would have to first convert it into ATM, and then I can use this table. But since they gave me ATMs, I'm good to go. Now, C stands for change. The change in which you went from your initial concentration to your equilibrium concentration. How did I go from a 0 to a 1.75? Well, I had to have increased, right? It's jumping up. So I had to plus by how much? Maybe I'll do this in a different color. Plus by 1.75. And 0 plus 1.75 is 1.75. And if this is increasing, and this is a product, the HCl has to also increase as well. But now by how much? Is it going to be 1.75? This comes from looking at the coefficients. Now for the NH3, there was no coefficient here, so that means that I had one of them. right? And then for the HCl, I didn't have a coefficient, so that was also one of them. And look, the coefficients are the same, so it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So if this was 1.75, this also would have been 1.75. I just do this for you guys because, you know, maybe you'll see a 2, you know, and the ratios won't be the same. Then these numbers will not be the same. So if you have the same coefficient and the ratios are the same, you will add the same amount or get rid of the same amount. And now 0 plus 1.75 is 1.75. And now we have all the equilibrium values that we need to plug it into our formula. So this was the hardest part, just getting my equilibrium values, because this now gets plugged into our formula. Let's make the specific formula for Kp. Products over reactants, right? Products divided by reactants. Remember, NH4Cl is a solid, so it doesn't get included. So we got the pressure of NH3, and that's being raised to the first, right? So you can raise it to the first. You can put the first here. But remember, anything raised to the first is itself. And then it's being multiplied. The, the products are being multiplied in the formula with, K, uh, with HCl. That's also being raised to the first. It's got a one coefficient. And maybe let me do that. Whoop. Divide it by the reactants, but remember, if I'm not using this and I have no gas, what number do I use down here? Yeah, it's just a placeholder, it's just a 1. But then we just clean it up, it's this divided by 1, so I don't even need the 1, and I don't even need the division sign. So this would be my Kp formula. I just times the two of them. So Kp equals 1.75 times 1.75 or 1.75 squared. And then we're good to go. I'm just going to maybe pull this up a little bit, and then I'm going to give the answer down here. Kp equals 1.75 times 1.75. Uh, looks like I got three sig figs, right? So if we really care about sig figs, which nobody cares, but just, just to you know go back, you should have three sig figs, 3.06. And that is your final answer. Kp and Kc values, they are unit less. They have no units, so you just use it as a number. And that's the end, guys. All right? So hopefully this one helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Good luck on all your future tests and quizzes, not just in chem, but any subject that you're taking, right? Foreign language, math, you know, if you're taking other sciences as well, like physics. And if you are taking math and physics, we might also be able to help you Go check the channel out. We got physics videos. We got math videos. We got, I think at this point, we just reached 3,000 videos. <laughs> We're crazy. <laughs> so let's keep working hard, all right? I will see you guys in later lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.